double shooters. Stories of big construction. Big machinery. And big men. Starring Keenan Wynn as Kodiak with Bob Mathias as Frank Dugan. Unaluck, Alaska. They were reopening the old Healy River coal mines, shut down for years. With Alaska developing rapidly, operations were profitable again. And that meant road construction. My name is Frank Dugan. Top wheel on this job was Stenrude's ace field superintendent, the man they called Kodiak, the bear. Hey, I'm Dugan. I'm the new man. Be Dugan. Yes, sir. They tell me you're a real hot shot engineer. Well, I'm an engineer, yes. Oh, yeah. I bet you're a Harvard, huh? <laughs> I bet you're a Yale. No, MIT. You don't say. <laughs> well, well. So you came all the way up here to uh, teach us certain educated guys how to build roads, huh? Well, now, wait a minute. You wait. When I talk, you wait. You understand? I don't know what the office was thinking about sending you up here a second push in the first place. But I do know one thing. I'm head push on this job, and when I talk, you listen, you understand? Yeah, okay. Now, you're gonna be treated just the same as anybody else on one of my jobs. Every man on my job gets three chances to do it my way. And if he doesn't make it, he goes on down the road, you understand? You blew your first chance just by coming up here. I think you're gonna be going down that road real soon. What's with the bird, John? Black dump. Hmm? Gas. The bird dies first. John Pitt is doing its best to warn us of trouble. There's a sign of chattering in the rock. Tommy knockers, lad. Tommy knockers? Yes. Souls of dead miners trying to tell the living there's danger below. Oh, well. A man can't expect to die in bed when he goes to mining. Oh, uh, could you come to the house tonight. The lass is making apple pandowdy. What? Apple Pandowdy. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Kodiak! Uh, what are you doing down here? Looking for you, that crazy kid Dugan. He shut down the job. Why? Well, he's running a new survey. Says he wants to get out of the swamp. Wants us to make road up on the ridge. You're making a new survey. That's right. Well, who told you to do that? Look, Kodiak, I'm an engineer. I'm doing my job. Uh -huh. Tell me more. Okay, I will. It's no wonder you're being licked by the Pinley Plots. You're trying to build road on Muskeg. Who's spending more time filling in swamp than they are laying new road? Well, now, that's very interesting, Mr. Dugan. And how do you intend to get around it? I'm cutting a grade right over there. We use a gravel from the cut to fill in the low ground between the end of the road and the ridge. We're going to build a road over the ridge, huh? You know what's in that ridge? Old mine workings. The whole hill is honeycombed with them. Old shafts covered over, caved in. You build a road over that, and pretty soon the whole thing will collapse. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, you didn't know. That's right. What do you think? This is the first time I've been in the Arctic. Why do you think I ran the road over Muskeg? You just blew your second chance, Dugan. One more and you're off the job. 
I suppose you get this equipment down where it belongs and start making road. And fast. Hey, Dugan. What's so funny? Your face. It's just the way I thought it would look. I was expecting something like this after hearing Kodiak talk about you. Oh? He said you were a stuffed shirt and an unlicked cub. What else did Kodiak say? He said that um, he was going to run your tail into the ground and send you back to the drawing board where you belong. I don't think he likes you. Yeah, well, it's mutual. <laughs> well, anyway, it's nice having you while you last. Oh, and you might as well come on over to the house tonight. We're having Opal Pond Dowdy. Besides, Dad's got some charts of the old mines on the hill. Maybe you can prove Kodiak is wrong about it being unsafe to build a rota. Hey! hey! It might be nice if you told me who you are. Oh, I'm Jane Buttery, my dad's superintendent of the mine. Ask anybody where the house is. I forgot to ask Kodiak, are you married? No! Hooray! Your move, lad. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Who invited this guy? I did. Well, it's time the lass had some young company. Oh, not that you're not fine company for any girl, Kodiak. But you're a fine, mature man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. This is Superintendent Buttery. Oh. Have it right down. What is it, Dad? Uh, there's trouble down at the pit. Uh, nothing serious. I'll just nip down and be back before you miss me. Now, go on with the party. You heard what John said. Let's go on with the party. Here. Oh, there we are. All right, come on, honey. See what it's like to dance with a mature man. Better take a look at those charts. Oh, yes, of course. The mine. What happened down there? Explosion. Cave in. Dead. All dead. We had black damp with 4,000 feet. Called John Buttery. He came down. Then it happened. How many? Six, maybe seven. And Buttery. Any chance of survival? I don't know. Better they didn't. Better to die quick than slow. There ain't no way to get them out. Get over to that radio shack and have them contact Juno and tell them to send a dragoman crew down here on the double. Come on, move. Right. There ain't no dragoman this side of Idaho. All right, then we'll have to do it ourselves. Come on, let's All go. Right,
you make of it? Well, about 100, 120 feet from the end of the drift. There's a stope running at right angles to the gallery. If there's any left alive, it'll be in there. Logan! Yeah! Get Starbuck and tell him to get every available man in the area. Right! What do you hear? They radioed from Juneau. They're sending a Drigger man up from Idaho. Yeah? Yeah. He'll be here tomorrow night. We'll be too late. the leg, boy. It's going to be all right. Better save your lights, boys. We'll be here for a while. Well, how long can we wait, John? As long as the air lasts. How long will that be? I don't know. Getting foul. It'll last. John. Yes? You like eggs, John? I like them fine. You know what an egg costs up here, John? Two dollars a dozen. My wife hard-boiled three of them for my lunch today, and they all got smashed in the cave. And think of that, John. Just a waste of money, that's all. A waste of money. How bad is it, Kodiak? Now the cave in back there, the whole drift's full. The air's too bad to work in down there. Have you given up? Well, you can't ask those men to commit suicide down there, can you? Look, I... Look, I... I know it don't sound like much. I'm sorry. Are you giving up? Well, we've got to. Where's Dugan? And where were you when the men were working? I was up here studying charts of the mine work. Oh, big deal! Yeah, big deal. Because I found out how we can get to within five feet of those men if they're in that stove. Five feet, Cody. Show me. Look, right here. An abandoned shaft running into a flooded mine. Now, the lowest gallery runs almost into that stove. Yeah? A couple of good swimmers might make it. Take gelomite and a fuse to set it off with. Well, who does the swimming? I'm one. Well, I need a bath anyway. I'm two. Sure they are. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to let the woman boil any more eggs. Wasted money, that's all. Just wasted money. <laughs> <laughs> 